We've got a break from league action in today's video as we take on Cardiff in the FA Cup third round. And well, to be honest, it's probably good we've got a break from the league because things are going horribly wrong. Let's tell you all about it in today's episode of Educating the League. Hello people, welcome back to the channel and yep, we have got a game against Cardiff today in the FA Cup. Could be a difficult one, we'll have a look how Cardiff are doing in the league in a minute. They of course are in the Championship, we're in League One, so naturally we are the underdogs. But also we're the underdogs because our recent form has been absolutely terrible let me tell you all about it right here and you was last with us for the game against Wickham a couple of months ago we are now in the 7th of January so the transfer window is open but I don't think we're going to be doing that much business because we haven't got any money might have spent it all in the summer whoops but anyway, results, we, you saw us play against Wickham in that game where we was lucky to get a point. But then after that, things improved a little bit in the league. We got a 2-0 win against Exeter, Tyler Smith with an early goal, Brannigan with a penalty just to absolutely make sure of it. And then we beat Peterborough 3-1 in the league. Marcus Brown with a couple. Brannigan again with another one. And well, we're not really talking about the Papa John's Pizza Hut, Domino's Pizza, Galliano's uh, Pizza Place trophy, are we? Because that's not really important. And well, we lost to my team West Ham in that competition. And well, I say it's not important. We were supposed to make it to the knockout stages, according to our board. The board are not happy that we haven't made it out of the groups. but. I'm kind of not bothered. I don't I don't want any more games than what we need at the minute. But anyway, so that is that. We beat Peterborough. But then after that, we went one, two, three, four, five league games without a win. We had an awful performance against Portsmouth. Not much better against Bolton. Tyler Smith, really, and Cameron Brannigan have been our only two bright spots, I would say, since you've last been with us, Tyler Smith is still on fire, by the way. How many goals is he on now? He's on 20 from 26 games. I'm very, very happy with him. He's been the one player to keep us going, really. And then, well, even that, that shows it in the Stevenage game, the free all game, the first one against Stevenage in the Cup. 3-3, three, three, Tyler Smith with two, Kanate with the other. And then we had a nil-nil against Port Vale. Stevenage, that, well, how we won that game in extra time, I don't know. Because again, we was not good. I'm going to go through the tactics in a minute. See what you guys think of the new tactic I've come up with. And also, um, uh, also the old one. See if there's any changes you think we can make to the old one that might bring results once again. Because we did start the season well. You can see here, we was top of the league at one point. We was top of the league and absolutely flying. So what has happened since, I don't know. But anyway, in the league, 3-1, we lost to, Fo to Forest Green. Our only goal coming in the 94th minute. So might as well have been 3-0. But then we did get a win against our rivals, Wickham. 2-0 in the cup to set up today's game against, uh, against Cardiff. And you can see here, we played well in this one. We had 18 shots to their 7, 8 on target to their 3, an XG of 1.87. And so, why we can't bring that performance out more often, I don't know. But then after that, we had a 0-0 against Accrington. And then Barnsley, you see the result? 2-0. You think, good performance, very, very well done, Spen. Nope. No, no, no. We only had an XG of 0.42, on target 6, and we did have 59% of possession, but that does not tell you the story of the game. It was an awful game. I was going to record this one, and in fact, I tried to record this one, but OBS was a little pain in my... Mm -mm. And so, yeah, you'll be thankful I didn't bring you that game, because it was awful, it was boring. How we won it, I do not know. 
But, but well, I shouldn't be moaning too much about wins because look at this since then. Lost 2-0 to Wickham. They got their revenge for the Cup. Lost to Sheffield Wednesday. Lost to Ipswich. And then I thought, you know what? I've had it. We're changing tactics. I tried it for the Ipswich game, a 4-3-2-1. Didn't work. And so then, Charlton, we went with a 4-3-3. And it was 6-1. Um, Jezerun Rakshaki, oh, I can't say that name, but he scored three. Tyrese Campbell got one. Miles Lieburn got two. And just look at these stats. 18 shots for Cholton, 12 on target for them, an XG of 2.63. We only had 39% of the ball. It was one of the worst performances I remember having on FM for a very, very long time. So we're not going back to the 4-4-1-1 anytime soon. We have just tried a 5-2-3, which is the tactic I'm going to show you in a second. We tried that against Exeter and it wasn't much better. We didn't, we didn't get the goal that we needed, but we did go back to having more shots and having more possession. But we did have the same XG as Exeter, which is quite strange, I think. And as for passes completed, because oh, I always go on about that one, we only completed 75%, which is quite low for us, I do think. But yeah, that is you all caught up on the nightmare I've had to live through since we was last together. Really hope we can improve things here today. But also, what's not helping matters, I have just remembered, I need to show you, is that we have got two injuries. Can I bring this up? Um, current injuries, there we go. That's a bit easier for you people to see. Tyler Smith, our top scorer, is out. He's out for between eight days and two weeks. And as well as that, Gabriel Slonina, who's been our first choice goalkeeper. He's out for about the same amount of time. So, yep, we're going into this FA Cup game without two of our best players. And Kieran Brown, as well, has got the flu. So, I've sent him home. He's going to have the flu for three weeks. What kind of flu is this? Even me, I moan when I get the flu, all right? I'll admit it. I moan like hell when I get the flu. I am never out for three weeks. So, what kind of super flu is this that he's got? But I don't want to catch it. I don't want to catch it at all. But anyway, that is you all caught up. That is that is the, the results caught up on. That's the medical centre. Let's go and talk about tactics and then get into today's game against Cardiff. And we'll have a look at Cardiff as well in a minute, just before I forget. So this is the new 5-2-3 attacking formation I decided to go with. I think we're, think we're going to go balanced balance today because we are the um the underdogs against Cardiff and it's a 5-2-3 it's short of passing slightly well I say standard tempo focus and play through the middle hitting early crosses if we do get the ball out wide then we are distributing to the playmaker and also we're countering on the press and we're countering as soon as as soon as we win possession so hopefully you never know might be able to catch Cardiff out but also, we have got a lower defensive line, which that might, that will that, will that get in the way of the countering when the possession's been lost? I'm kind of tempted to maybe, maybe take that away, actually. Let's go regroup. Regroup when we lose the ball and then counter when we win it back. And then distribute quickly, but distribute to, do you want to distribute to the fullbacks or the centre-backs? I'm going to say centre-backs. Distribute to them. And so this is it now. Distribute to centre-backs. Distribute quickly. Counter and regroup. And then here we go. Lower defensive line and maybe push it back to a mid-block. Maybe that's what we do. That, and that feels very defensive, though. That feels almost too defensive. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Let's, let's go... Let's go that. Let's stay with a higher press and let's see how that gets on for us today, yeah? And I'll be back with you in a second when I've picked the team and then we'll have a look and see how Cardiff are doing, yeah? That sound good? 
Here's the team for today's game. We've got McGinty in goal. Finley, Golding and Moore are our back three. Golding playing as a stopper. Think he might be able to do all right in that role. And that then leaves the more experienced players, Finley and Moore, to cover up any mistakes he might make. And then on the wing backs, we've got Anderson and Fleming. They're both set to automatic. I don't want that. I want Anderson on support and Fleming on defend. So a little bit of... What's the word I'm looking for? Up and down this. One goes up, the other goes down. That's kind of what I'm hoping to get out of those two. And then in the midfield, ooh, microphone goes flying. And then in the midfield, we've got Brannigan and we've got Iqbal. Brannigan playing as a central midfielder on defend. Iqbal playing as a deep line playmaker. Brown and Canati are on the wings. Canati playing as an inside forward. And Soonshot Bell comes in for Tyler Smith. Soonshot Bell is playing as a deep line forward because Brendan Rodgers has had a moan at us. And he said that I'm going to have to recall him if, uh, if, you don't, if you don't carry on, if you don't start playing him as a deep line forward. So that is the team for today's game. It is the FA Cup. It's a bit of a bonus game. Who knows what might happen if we can get a result, might be able to get a big Premier League team, get some money into the club, which would be very, very nice. And now let's just have a look at Cardiff. How are they doing? The 22nd. Oh, and they've got big, they've got big, big, big fat Greg's, Greg's a holic, pie eating, chip munching, buddy, brown envelope taking, big Fat Sam Allardyce. That makes this more interesting because I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I must beat him. I must beat him. Let's get into the game. <sighs> First highlight of the game, and it's for us. Brannigan with the ball. He crosses it in from the corner. Canati gets it. Goes back to Brown. Golding. We've got Brannigan out wide. Brannigan to Anderson. Anderson into Brannigan. Brannigan with keeping the ball nicely here. Iqbal back to Golding. And he's played it forward. And what was that? An absolute waste of an attack. That was not the highlight. I know that. As now Cardiff go long and Moran collects it. Moran back to Rouse. And is that Rouse or Wolves? Rouse. I'm, I'm going with Rouse as well. Doesn't matter because they're in the box and Cardiff have taken the lead. Oh, it's all going wrong at the minute. It is all going wrong. Oh, that was much too easy for Cardiff. Oh, immediately following that, we've got another highlight from the kickoff. Could this be us equalising? Please. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Moran. Moran's in the box. Oh, no. Anderson. Oh, what a tackle, Anderson. You beautiful man. And now it's us coming forward with the ball. Brown, but he's giving it away. How? How? We have just forgotten how to play football in the last couple of months. Philogene into Moran. And McGinty pulls off the save. And it goes out for a corner kick. And oh my God, we could be 2-0 down very quickly here. Rouse with the ball. He's crossed it into the box and we've headed it away, but only as far as Philogene. And Philogene has it, but Brannigan clears it away. And Brannigan, he's trying to run forward to get onto this, but he can't beat Philogene to it. And that's the end of the highlight. Oh, many highlights now. Come on, Iqbal forward to Anderson. Anderson with the ball. And now can he get forward? Or can he find a teammate? He does. He goes back to Brannigan, who goes to Anderson once again. Brown. Brown is into the box. Brown crosses it. Canate's hit the bar. Oh. Oh, I thought we was level there. But we do still have it. Canate once again. And again, he's giving it away. As My microphone does not want to stay put today. My microphone wants to get away almost as much as probably some of the fans do watching our results at the minute. Well, that is the first half of football and we're 1-0 down, but it's not been terrible. We're not being outclassed. We're not out of the game as it threatened to be at one point. Um, Cardiff have had four shots, two are three, two on target for them, two are one. So not too much goal mouth action going on so far today, but we have had 69% of possession. So there's something here. There's a tactic here, which 
I think I can start moulding. I can start getting something out of. But let's get into the dressing room. Let's go hands in pockets. Um, our shooting's not been good enough. That's got everyone happy and inspired and motivated. And I, I think we go higher tempo. I think, I think we go higher tempo, and also we go. Maybe for maybe for a standard defensive line, is that what you guys think? And then maybe go triggering more often or standard. I think more often. I think there's a result to be had here. So come on, second half. Come on, boys. First highlight of the second half. Brannigan with it. Brannigan plays it. Oh, he, don't, he tries to play it, but Rawls nicks it off him. And we do get it into the box eventually. Can I? Soon shot Bell. Soon shot Bell has us level in the FA Cup. Oxford will level with Ox with Cardiff. Soon shot Bell with a brilliant first time effort there. Yes. What a goal that was. Have a look at this. Anderson with the cross. Canate nods it across to Bell and he was never going to miss that. Come on. Here we go. Another highlight here. Six minutes into the second half. Moore coming forward with the ball. Can he give us a little bit more today? Granigan, Iqbal. Back to Golding, to Iqbal once again. Bell, the goal scorer, turns his man, goes for the long shot. And all oh, Allsop has had to pull off a great save there to keep it out. We are definitely looking the better team here today. Now, come on. Brannigan with the ball. He's going to take this as an outswinging corner. And eventually he does. And he goes headed towards Ball, but Ball cannot get to the ball. As now Moran on the counter. And well, that was a bit of a pointless highlight. That corner, wasn't it? 65 minutes into the game and we're just making the one change. Lewis Bate coming on for Zidane Iqbal. Iqbal did have a good game, but we need some fresh legs somewhere. In fact, I might make Bate an advanced playmaker and stick him on. Yeah, stick him on attack and see how that does for us. So we've got 25 minutes left to try and win this. Come on. Well, immediately following that sub, Cardiff have got the ball. Rules with a long shot, and it's just gone wide. Oh, living a bit lucky here. Okay, just over 10 minutes left of the game to go. And Kyle Joseph is coming on for Atif Kanate. Kanate did get the assist for Bell's goal, but, well, he's not done much else other than that. So, we're bringing Joseph on. He's not the greatest player you're ever going to see. But he can, he can, he can cross, he can cross, and he can finish, and he works hard. So you never know; might be able to get something out of him in this last thirteen or so minutes. Come on, come on, get us a win! I really want to beat Big Sam, please. Okay, we've got about two minutes left of the game, and so I am going for it. We have gone to a 4-2-4. Kula Bali has come on for the central defender, Golding. And Anderson is off for long, just to help try and see this game out. We're going proper long ball. You never know, can we nick a winner against that big pie-munching idiot? Come on, Oxford. And, well, the answer to that question is no. So, well, I'm happy with that, actually. I'm actually happy with that. As a result, but not as a performance. Oh my God, I didn't look at the match stats till now. 1-1 um, one, one draw against Cardiff. So we get another go at them back at our place. But look at that. 15 shots they had to our five. Five on target to our three. Um, XG of 1.35 to our 0 0.77. Well, yeah. Work, work needs to be done. But anyway, that is where we are going to leave it for today, lads. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, you know what to do, don't you? Like the video and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter, staylorcoms. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with you in about a month's time in game, I reckon. So I sell. See you next time.